Okay, so you have a small hatchet and you don't know really how to use it. A lot of people, they just start smacking a log. That's not really the way to go about things. So if we have a small hatchet, what it's meant to do is to remove wood. The best way to go about that is with your angles. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you wear those safety glasses or sunglasses or something to protect your eyes so you're not getting those chips in your face from things flying off. The next thing you need to do is have a solid surface, something that you can something that you can brace against because if you're pounding something into the dirt and it just keeps going down, that's not going to be that productive. So when you cut with an ax, you're cutting at angles. We're removing removing that wood we're not just going chop 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 and it's not a saw it's it's a blunt force object to create that wedge to remove things so in order to get through this you can see I'm about halfway through it already and that's just by going at different angles I'm gonna go this way and then this way And if I want to make a point out of these, I would just move it. And I'd start creating that pointed edge if I wanted to make maybe some tent poles or maybe some logs or some sort of stick to pound in the ground to hold and make a backstop. Okay, that's how you use a small hatchet to cut with. Another useful thing you can do use a hatchet for, if you have a log and you could sink that hatchet into the log, you can take it and you can create a feather stick if your ax is sharp enough and you have the right wood. That's not the right wood, so let's grab the right piece of wood. Okay, so we have a better piece here. Now that I've sunk that in there, I'm gonna try to create a feather stick. This, this piece is pretty old too, it's pretty dry. When it's really dry, this maple doesn't make that good of a feather stick, but I still have something going on here. I'm creating these little places where the fire can lap up and get those and connect and grab onto those and start burning really well. I've also created here with my hatchet, I've created a lot of little tinder that I can save for when I get a spark or an ember and I can put those on there, start feeding that fire. So you can take your hatchet, set it into a log, and then use it in place of a knife. If you don't wanna dull your knife or if your knife is being used for something else or you wanna keep your knife for something else. So you can create feather sticks with your hatchet. And then you take all those little things and save them for you when you're building your fire. Now, another thing a hatchet's really good for is taking the small little things and breaking them. If I want to put these in a pack, or if I want to use these to feed a fire and I don't want to rig long one, I can cut these up because it provides a lot of force straight down. But again, 
wear eye protection and make sure you know where things are gonna be flying. If you have others around you, position your body to where you are a shield against their eyes and the object that could be flying off. Another thing you can do with your hatchet is you can split bigger logs or like branches and make them into smaller kindling. So if we have a log like this, I can set it and then split it. The best way I found to do this though, is to hold it with another stick and then you can split it like that. So instead of holding it and have my fingers so close, I can take another stick and then I can actually get a pretty good wind up and split that. And then I'm making Then I'm making smaller kindling that will light on my fire easier instead of throwing a big log or a big branch on top of my small little ember fire. I can split those pieces and I can hold them with another branch. And out of that one log or one branch, I can make a bunch of kindling that will start a lot easier. So there's one more thing you can do with your handheld hatchet. Another fun thing a hatchet's really good for is for throwing. So obviously, I need a lot of practice throwing. I don't throw these much, but it is so much fun when you get it to stick. So those are a few things you can do with a hatchet. You can make your own homemade hatchet. You can harden that edge and make that edge resistant to getting dull. I have the small video on that. So you can do a lot of things with a handheld hatchet, but make sure you're safe with it and make sure you work hard because hard work is his own reward. Thanks for watching.